Hey guys, welcome to uh, my sort of first impressions on FIFA 19. And yes, it's only the demo, but I think there are some important notes to be taken. And the biggest by far has to be regarding um, the new future uh, time finishing. And if you don't know what it is, it's sort of like a way to increase your accuracy and power. Um, increase the power of your shots, right? So it doesn't really matter what kind of player you're using. It could be a goalie, which I think it's very, I don't think it's a good idea to give more shooting uh, capabilities to players that don't um, deserve shooting or that don't have any of the stats that would make another player with high shooting um, be able to score. Um, so yeah, so how do you do it? You have to press the B button twice, so it has taken over the function of uh, the low driven shot and so what you do say there's a volley coming towards you before the volley is anywhere near you I mean a couple a couple feet away from you right you power up the the power bar you press B the first time and then you want to press B the second time right before the ball gets uh, to your foot and you're gonna make the shot and if you press it the second time before the ball gets to your foot, it's going to count as an early shot and the power is going to be, um, it's going to sky, essentially. And if you don't press it the second time, um, before it hits your foot or before your foot hits it, uh, it will just count as a regular shot as if you never attempted to do the time finishing, which is kind of weird, but, um, that is the, that is the way to use it. And is it useful? Many people are saying that uh, within the box, there's not really a good um, risk reward balance because most of the times with, when you're within the box, most of your shots are gonna go in like 90% of the time. So it doesn't really make sense to risk uh, mistiming the shot and it going wide. And even then, even if you mistime it, it might even go in still because, and it, well, it depends on what type of player you're using. And so, it's pretty much only useful when you're doing volleys and stuff. And of course, since I'm playing against computer, it's kind of hard to tell when it will be useful. So say like in foot champs, I don't, I don't know when those type of situations where I'm outside the box and trying to do a volley or a long shot or whatever. Um, I don't know when those opportunities would come by. That's something I would have to like revisit once the game starts. And as of right now, I don't think it's very useful. I think it's more of a gimmick. Um, yes, it's a, it's a future I, I don't think we really needed. And I don't think it will create much of a skill gap. Um, and if it does, uh, this is something that should be, should be addressed in future patches because if it gets to a point where it's too overpowered and it's not really, it's really unbalancing the game that it has to be removed. So, as of right now, I don't think it's that overpowered, but it could be. I, I don't know. Depends. It just depends how it can be manipulated. Um, <clears throat> so the second thing I wanted to talk about was what is overpowered. And if you've been looking at the gameplay also, like, you've noticed that I've been trying to like keep possession within the game. I wasn't really focused on, um, on scoring. Uh, I was just working on my build-up plays, seeing how passes work, how controlling the ball works, like what stats are important in the build-up play. <clears throat> so what I noticed immediately is that the RB button, it's super important when, when uh, building possession. So when you pass the ball to, to another teammate or to another player, you can press RB and it will like maneuver your player to sort of uh, misguide the the surrounding defender where you're headed. So it's very good at sort of creating this, it's almost like a skill move in a sense. And you can do those drag backs, whatever you want. Um, and so this, this ability is much more pronounced with higher rated players. So I was playing, I was playing with Dortmund and I had a player Delaney, um, Weigel, and Gotze. 
And out of those uh, three players, the best player by far in using those maneuvers and pressing um, RB, Goza was the best. So that told me immediately that dribbling is one of the most important functions in terms of uh, holding possession and keeping possession. Um, so also in terms of the B button, no, the RB button, sorry. Uh, if you're running like in a straight line, right? And you press the RB button and aim it this way, your player will kind of do like a sort of, like a chop, sort of. Um, but it's very quick, it's very fluid. And he would just move so fluently, that like to the right. He would just make like a, like a 90 degree turn. And it's so, so overpowered especially with players that have exceptional dribbling. So I cannot imagine what it's like to do it with like uh, players like Neymar or Messi or Hazard. That sort of mechanics is very, um, it's very prone to being, uh, to being abused. Um, but yeah, so far the game, it feels pretty similar. Uh, I wouldn't say it has changed that much. But, because I feel like always when you play a demo and when the game actually comes out, it's always kind of different. I've experienced that with the FIFA 17 demo, with the FIFA 18 demo. And it just sort of, I don't know, I feel like it always changes. But so far it's good. It's, it's entertaining. Um, it's a little weird doing the low driven shot with the RP and LP because say sometimes when... Sometimes when you want to do the shot, right, you, you press LB and RB and then press B. But sometimes there's problems with syncing, like, your your hand and pressing it on the controller that I, sometimes you'll press the, uh, the left bumper and the shot button, B, before pressing the RB. So what you get is a chip shot. And this happens to me quite often, so it's something you have to get used to. It, it will... It will take a while if you want to get back into using them because I think they're still super overpowered, especially with players that have um, great shooting. Um, but in terms of the demo, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to, if you want to watch more of my videos, I'm gonna start uploading. I think on the 19th or 18th when the web app comes out. So I'm gonna be opening my packs. I'm gonna be selling everything. Uh, I pre-ordered the the ultimate edition so if you're thinking of pre-ordering it it depends what type of player you are and how, how much time you want to put in it like how serious you are um say about foot champs because i mean in terms of like what you get for pre-ordering um i think you get like 20 jumbo premium no 20 20 15k packs right for the champions edition and i think you get five or ten for the for the standard edition and you get 40 for the ultimate edition and you get these uh through the span of 20 weeks so with the champions you'll get one a week and with the ultimate you'll get two a week and i would estimate between each pack you might get within 7500 points minimum and you might get lucky in one of them uh, and that's very good coins, but this is something that will be accumulated over time. And you get some loans, seven match loans with Ronaldo and Messi, but loans are pretty much useless. They'll last a very short time. I mean, unless you use it in a way where you use them as super subs in a tight game, they might be very useful and gain you those few extra wins at foot champs. But yeah, um, I also have the EA access, so I will also get full access or 10 hour access starting on the 20th. And I'll, I'll do those 10 hours. And within those 10 hours, it's going to be complete, uh, completely foot drafts because I'm going to buy, I think, uh, $40 worth of foot, uh, yeah, foot FIFA points. And that will give me access to like 15 foot drafts. So each will be its own video, and that's what I'll be uploading within those 10 hours and then on the 23rd I get the three-day early access because of pre-ordering the 
the Ultimate Edition, which you also get by pre-ordering the Champions Edition. So on the 23rd, I'll have full access and start uploading more content, and then 28th, uh, that's when the full game releases. So it's going to be a lot of exciting content. I'm a, My main focus this time is getting into the top 100. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's something that, even like Elite 1, right, I'll be happy. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you tune into my next videos and trust me it will be it will be fun. Thanks.